All right, checking out my, getting my app set up for tracking this walk. And I've been looking forward to this today. And you know what? It's amazing. It is so cool this evening. It was a very interesting day today. I was able to get some work done, which was great. I haven't been able to finish getting my videos all uh, labeled. I'm still stuck in May. But <clears throat> I made some progress on my, uh, my regular job, getting through the day. And then uh, I had a couple of good meals today. I'm going to talk about those more in another video that I'm working on where I compare air fryers and the cinder grill and I'm going to make one to talk about just the cinder grill and one to talk about just the air fryer and probably one comparing them too. So, uh, uh, but this is, I had ribeyes this morning and this afternoon, both made in the air fryer because I've been doing some testing on some things and really trying to make sure that I'm I'm making a fair judge between the two even though I use the air fryer for a whole year I learned some things recently that made the air fryer better uh, than I remembered using it and uh, I learned some things not too long ago that made the air fryer not my favorite thing so I've been trying out the cinder grill but uh, that's gonna all come in a, in a future video as far as talking about all those and it's not very far in the future so we'll get to that soon but um, I did want to talk about some good things that happened today and it's kind of exciting because one of my recent videos not real recent I guess it was probably a month ago I had told you guys to stick around for a little personal message about something interesting that happened but uh, then I didn't talk about it and then I I realized that after I posted the video I was like oh, I didn't even talk about what happened and then later I just didn't want to uh, I didn't I didn't feel like going into it right away because it was something that felt like it was bragging or something I don't know I didn't want to I didn't want to make a, a big deal about something special that had happened but um, I do want to tell you about it because it was really a big deal for me to have this happen I, you know I've been a I've been a Dolphins fan my entire life now a lot of you NFL fans can make all the jokes you want about that I know it has been one heck of a ride the past 30 40 years <laughs> of putting up with this team letting me down over and over year after year after year when you've stuck with it this long you know it's it's your team and uh, you know Levi has grown up and he he tends to be into everything I'm into so even though he doesn't really understand what's going on in football yet and I'm trying to teach him but uh, he loves what I love, so he loves the Dolphins. He even wanted a whole bunch of gear one year. A couple of years back, he got jerseys and hats and all kind of gear for the Miami Dolphins. And I thought, man, it would be nice if I could take him to a game sometime. Well, what happened on my business trip is I made a connection with somebody who has season tickets to the Dolphins, and he's like, hey, man, pick a pick a game whichever one I was thinking one ticket he's like he's gonna let me go to the game that's pretty cool and uh, and he's like yeah you and your wife come on down and do everything and whatever and I was just so excited uh, to be offered a chance to to go to the game because I mean that's just something I, I don't I don't have that it's not in my budget to go to an NFL game right now but uh, and even though I'm not a huge supporter of the NFL in general, I just love my team and I've always loved football. So to be able to go was a, kind of a big deal for me. And then I found out he was giving me four tickets so that I could take my kids too, because he's like, dude, you got to bring your kids to the game. <laughs> my goodness, how much grace can one person get in one day? And, uh, it's exciting because it's going to be uh, it's going to be the season opener on September 11th against the Patriots, and I'll get to be at the game. So, and Miami looks pretty good this year. Their offense has uh, got some real weapons, and if Tua can do what he was supposed to prove as a college player, then we should see some pretty amazing things. But you know, I'm not counting those eggs before they hatch. I've been down this road too many times already. What happened today that was even more remarkable that just adds to this same story is um, I went on eBay because I've been to Dolphins games before 
and I know where you need to be if you want to get a chance to meet any of the players after the game. And uh, I don't know if it's changed since COVID, so I'll find out. But I said, well, we're going to go do the whole experiment, the whole experience. We're going to do the tailgating all day, and then we're going to watch the game, and then we're going to see if we can't meet some players after the game because I've done that. If I got a whole helmet full of autographs from back in 2007, 2008, 2009. And, uh, but those were a lifetime ago and before I had Levi and Luke and to be able to share this with them is now really exciting uh, because it's a whole new opportunity for them. And then we can get some autographs together and it'd be the kind of thing we keep for ourselves. We're not gonna sell this on eBay or anything. I'm not gonna sell these things ever. They're just, they're fun memories of something that was always a part of my life. So I ordered a, a helmet on eBay I wasn't going to do it because they were 250 bucks. The last time I bought one, they were probably 159, I think. And I thought that was a lot then. So 250 was the lowest I had found. And then uh, the guy, I just put it on my watch list. And then the guy counter offered or he just sent me an offer and said, uh, I'll take 200, you know, shipped with tax plus tax. So $214. And I was like, cool. Yeah, I'll do that. That way I got something we can take and it'll be cool if we meet anybody. We can get an autograph on a helmet that'll be a reminder of the time that we got to go to this game together as a family and have a great time. And uh, then it, it, the UPS came to deliver it one day. Somebody's shooting over there. So UPS came to deliver it one day and they... Uh, they were looking around in their truck forever and then came back out and said, uh, no, we can't find it. Uh, they must, it might come tomorrow or something. <clears throat> so I, uh, I went back and I reported to the seller. I was like, dude, this thing, they lost it at UPS, but I'll wait and see if it shows up. He said, all right, that's cool. And then uh, three days later, nothing had happened. So I said, dude, what's going on with this thing? And I checked on the, on the online and it said some kind of error or something was going on. There was a problem with the whole thing. And I don't know what was going on with it. I figured they just lost it. Or maybe the guy that worked there stole it or something. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it may still be what happened now that I think about it. Because I contacted the seller and let him know what happened. And he said he filed a report with UPS. But of course, I'm on this end thinking, this guy could be selling me a line and just dragging me on to wait until there's like some expiration on this or something. So I said, you know what? I ought to let eBay know I'm having an issue with this package being delivered. And I uh, wasn't blaming the guy. I just said, uh, you can see what I said here in this comment. I can't remember what I said and I don't have the comment in front of me right now. But it was something along the lines of... Okay, I just looked and double checked and basically I explained the situation like I just explained to you um, that I had uh, talked to the seller already and that he had filed an issue and that it had been a few days and I'm thinking, you know, I'd like to be able to make a move again if I need to get another one or something like that and I don't want to have this drag out for a month because it's very easy for me to forget about it after a while. I got too much going on to be dragging around trying to think if this thing got resolved. So I just uh, asked eBay, you know, please advise, what do I do here type of thing. And uh, a couple days later, I noticed that it had already been decided in my favor and I was getting a refund. So I thought, oh, well, I wonder what happened. How'd they be able to know that so quickly? But uh, I guess they had some information I didn't know about. And it's funny, I'm, so, I wonder if I should even be talking about it sometimes, but it might just be me being silly. The refund was finalized yesterday. Then today I'm sitting at home working on my computer and I hear somebody outside and I figure it's my wife coming home. But then I hear a man's voice calling out and I go and look and it's the sheriff, a guy with a sheriff's outfit on. Actually it looked like it was more like tactical gear but it said sheriff on it. And he had a sheriff's deputy with him, a female partner, and two different vehicles. And I'm thinking, uh oh, what's going on here today? <laughs> I ain't got nothing to be afraid of, but at the same time, you know, I, I believe in this thing I read once about uh, seven felonies a day, like everybody's guilty of something. You know, if they look long enough, they'll find something wrong, and I don't want them looking, so I ain't got time for any of that nonsense. 
But uh, so I said these guys and they got a package in their hand. It's got a whole bunch of tape on it that says eBay. So I figured, oh, eh, there's my helmet. Immediately I realized that must be the helmet that I ordered, the official Miami Dolphins helmet. And uh, I don't know if I showed you pictures of it earlier, but if I didn't, I'll put them here so that you can see, you know, what I'm talking about. These things are great for autographs. And I have uh, I have a picture of my old one I'll dig up. It's I got it buried away in the storage right now, but uh, you can see the one that I got from a few years ago. So it's just, this is my way of saving memories with the family because I got these with my children who were younger back in that time. My, uh, my two adult children now. So anyway, he's got this package in his hands and he says that your package got caught up with another package maybe that was next to it or something that uh, the dogs marked on as being drugs being delivered or something like that and i thought wow really <laughs> you want me to open it we'll take a look and see what's inside let's do it you know i wasn't worried about it because i knew what i had ordered but you know i it's kind of foolish of me now that i think about it because what if there had been something in there that idiot had put inside the box <laughs> And I'm sitting there with a sheriff having it delivered to my house. Uh, I might have some explaining to do for not keeping quiet. Thankfully, that didn't happen. <laughs> we opened it up and the helmet was in there and it, it looked really nice. And he was impressed with it and liked the story that I just told you about. And Well, that's that. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I... Uh, I tried to reach back out to eBay and to the seller and eBay wouldn't allow me to contact the seller because the case had been resolved. I had no way to contact him. I went into the, the messaging center where he had contacted me before, but everything just says case closed, like it's not going to allow us to communicate once they've made their decision. And uh, I tried to reach out to eBay directly and they have a phone number and that was disconnected. and. Uh, they don't have a straight up email address that you can send something to. You've got to go through all these different choices. And every time I would try to get them to let me just send them a message about it to say, hey, uh, apparently this was intercepted by law enforcement. And uh, the guy, you know, I want to make sure that he doesn't lose his investment either, but they won't let me contact him. So um, I've included something here on it just to show you what I'm talking about. but. It's one of those situations where one is kind of a blessing because I wound up getting it for nothing, but at the same time, I don't want to see somebody lose something that they they should have got because of something weird that happened. But who knows? Maybe he was the one sending something that was attached to the package, or I don't know what. But it was just weird. It was weird having the sheriff show up to deliver your package from eBay. You know, I've watched too many mystery or TV cop movies or uh, TV shows, all everything you can imagine, and it starts to make me wonder, are they watching me? What's going on here? <laughs> That's the day I've had. Oh, and you'll notice I'm not wearing my vest right now. Uh, this weekend, I really needed some recovery after wearing that vest uh, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I believe, or maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I can't remember which, but I know Sunday I wind up taking the whole day off. And uh, I talked about it earlier and I recorded that, so I'm gonna include that here. I'll tell you one thing, today was a rest day. I really had to, to get a break in. Um, when I woke up this morning, my lower back was kind of sore. My legs were kind of sore. I was feeling kind of hard time moving. And I'd been pushing myself, really uh, feeling that since day one of wearing the weighted vest. And, uh, you know, after three days of wearing it. So today has just been a break. I can't even keep up with what happened. But I know today, <laughs> today has been thoroughly a break. Uh, I knew I needed some recovery because it just hurts a little bit. And I know when I'm pushing it too far. And when you wake up and you're really sore, sometimes it's a it's a call to go go. You know go some more and push a little further but sometimes you know your body is saying all right brother we need to take a break for a minute this is a little much and i think that's what my back is telling me my legs are not necessarily telling me that but they i, I guess they are they needed a break too but it still feels good to be able to do the squats that i've been able to do and i look forward to having this recovery 
and just spending this Sunday relaxed with my family the way I have already. It's already 5.30 in the evening. But uh, it was just one of those days where I kept thinking, am I going to get some strength and energy and ready to go today? I just felt like taking it easy today. And uh, I can definitely say it was a recovery day for me. So they're, they're going to be those. And you need them. You need some recovery. So don't be ashamed of that. I mean, uh, Saturday I was tired. I did a one mile walk with the vest on and said, that's it, that's all I got. I wound up getting in 67 of my 100 squats and I did uh, 33 squats the next day, but I didn't get my push ups out that day. So today I gotta get some squats in. I'm gonna go ahead and get those without the vest, but I'm gonna go back to the vest very soon. But the other thing that I forgot to mention is I found out the vest I ordered is not a 50 pound vest it is a 40 pound vest i weighed the actual weights and found out they were four pounds a piece but actually what it was is one of my viewers had uh, mentioned wanting to see about getting the same vest if i liked it and i do like it i think it was a good investment for the for the money i just i thought it was 50 pounds i don't know why i, I wound up getting 40 but it looks like it's going to be more than enough to definitely get started uh, there was some wristbands and leg bands I was going to get as well, but I didn't wind up getting those. So I, I don't think you're going to need them either because this is going to be enough for a while. I may wind up getting those someday, but I don't anticipate that's going to be any time in the very near future that I'm going to need those. I'm going to build up to even getting to 40 pounds. So that's why right now I'm taking it easy. My lower back was hurting just a little bit, but uh, I figured a recovery day was good. And now I want to take it easy getting back into it, and maybe tomorrow I'll go with the vest on again. Maybe I'll wait one more day. We'll see. I'm not going to overdo it, but I'm not going to give up. And I don't want you to give up either. I want to make sure that you understand what I'm trying to guide you into is not quitting and not overdoing it at the same time. And finding out that you can get results that make a big difference really fast, but you've got to make some good decisions along the way. And then you can get the best out of this. When you talk about oxalates and you talk about uh, getting off of uh, the addiction of certain foods, some of it takes more time than the experience that I had. But some of you are going to be able to dive right in like I did because maybe you've been doing some kind of low carb format up until now. I have people all the time telling me that they're transitioning from carnivore to lion diet. Early on, I used to get a lot of comments that lion diet is carnivore diet. And I would say, well, yes, it is. But at the same time, it's a very specific carnivore diet. So knowing that there are differences in the different meats and the way that they process what they eat, also what they eat, period, like for instance, pigs will eat anything and uh, chickens will eat anything they can get in their mouth. So, and they're monogastric animals. I saw a couple of videos that Saladino put out about these that were very helpful in understanding uh, why eating pork and uh, poultry could be a bad choice, especially in modern times under the current circumstances of what they're being fed. Uh, even if you were raising your own, you might have to be careful because the feed that's available is not gonna be enough in those cases too. So it's, uh, it's, a, good, it's a good case for lion diet to try something that's as clean as what lion diet is, sticking with ruminant animals. So anyway, I think I've run my mouth enough. <laughs> today. I just wanted to be able to share some thoughts with you and hopefully some motivation to keep on going. I'm going to go ahead and get these push-ups in. I'll talk to you guys next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?